my best. Mayor, can you get What does that mean? Well, what if my best ain't good enough? But what if I tell you this? We're going to do whatever it takes that's legal, ethical, and moral to get it done. I kind of hope that's what Georgia does this next time when we football game. I y'all know what I'm doing. I think they just, I don't know that, I don't think it was all private. I don't think they did whatever it takes to win. But, uh, so think about those three things. Now, yesterday, I'm going to wrap this up quick, okay? I'm with the county commissioner. We, there's three things we talked about. Number one, he's got a seal in. He wants you to do a medal facility. It's going to take a lot of money. I've already put a team together and have to get that. It's got to see a lead. But some of the hard lift is already done. So we're going to have to get that done. The second thing he wanted to do in his community was tie in with, with the College and Career Academy. It comes to rural county. Really, he wanted it to be a place where the young people graduating could work in the county. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? That there would be opportunities for that. Y'all relate to that? So, one of, one of the people I work with uh, out of San Francisco in California, you might not know anything about California, is Microsoft. Okay? Microsoft makes so much money, they're so guilty about the money they make. Well, I found them while I was at USDA, and they told me, Mike, you're working with rural communities. If you'll bring us to a rural community, I said, we're going to help relieve them of that deal. How many of y'all think we should relieve them of the deal that they did? And we have a company uh, with them that comes in and works with you. I'm about through. I'm sorry. I'm having, you know, I got a company from California that comes in and works in rural communities, works with the young people, helps them get a certain skill set working with the technical college or other colleges. And that skill set will pay them $100,000 a year the first year they, the two years of I mean, I don't know if you're young people who would be excited about the American dream if we could show them how to make $100,000 a year. Y'all with me? Okay, so we, if that's something that kind of working with young people be excited about, let me know. I like to do it. Last thing we'll talk. How many y'all heard of Tuskegee? One, one thing I did at USDA, I worked with all the HBCG land rates. At Tuskegee, before I, I kind of had to leave, I left a little, little early and I thought I was going to leave, but I had to come home before I finished this. But they're still working with it. And that's how to make $100,000 a year on five acres of land. And that's a program. These are the types of things that we can do. And we can pull the resources together, the technical assistance together to help you achieve that. Now, a lot of times in South Georgia, you know, large acres, right? How many of y'all know some folks, some families who have small acres, small acres? And if you could make that more productive, it is legal ethical and to do it, then you get things done. In conclusion, once you look at this page, the one page, community analysis example, it's called Finding Acres of Diamond. I happen, I'm an optimist, and I go after Moby Dick and a rowboat, and I take along the charge off. How many of y'all know what I'm talking about? Our best days are ahead. This young man right here, this young, come up here, man. Come on, I want y'all to look at this young man. These are our leaders. These are our acres of diamonds in every community. So for us to say the good times are over, that ain't right, is it? We're going, I love this kid. You are we can. That's right. Get over and sit down. What I'm saying is, that's what this is all about. So, so we go to serve them. I, I want this one here. This is a large county that we're working with. I won't mention I, I don't think I put the name on there, Lisa. But what we found in this county, we did an analysis. You read it. And I've got a rural county. I can put the rural county. It makes a little more sense. I think I'll share that with you. I've said, we come in and do an analysis with your county. If you want us to come in, we will do a site visit just like I did yesterday. <coughs> we will sit down and do an analysis. This right here, this county, which is going to be one of our baby team partners, we found $50 million in untapped resources to help them achieve their goals. So that's grants, so it's loans, it's private sector. There are acres of diamonds in rural America. Now, this county, 
this is a real can now, we'll mention it because it's, uh, we found six million. More than likely, we're going to find somewhere in all of your county, somewhere between two and ten million dollars in potential grants, loans, untapped resources to help you achieve your goal. How many of you are using infusion? I know you get it from these six. How many of you are using infusion in about five million dollars to help you achieve your goal? Would y'all hire me to have to do that? If I, you, if, I, if I have to find five, would you pay me four million of it? No. <laughs> Let me tell you something. We'd love to work with you. The analysis is free, okay? So if you want us to come, to come down, Lisa, can you find me a spot to stay down here this afternoon and work all you want? If you'd like for us to come down and sit down with you and discuss what your goals are, identify them. We will do a quick analysis. And if you want to bring the main team on and have you put those goal posts up, then we'll help you get what you need. Okay? Now I've got some cards back there that's got my phone number on it. Y'all seen that commercial on TV? Mm -hmm. One call, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, God, God bless you. I, I'll leave you with this thought. Let's, let's, the, the bottom up locally driven communities are the future of America. That's the future. Our youth are part of that acres of diamonds. Let's do everything we can do. I do a lot of huddles. I like to huddle up with business communities. I like to huddle up with educators. I like to huddle up with y'all. You know, think about you know, you think about a huddle. We're all on the same team in a huddle. Ain't no black or white in a huddle, right? Ain't no racism in a huddle. It's a team working against it. What y'all are doing here, this is a huddle. And what you want to do is go back and call the right place for the community. And that's what we do. So God bless you. Thank you. Get out of here, y'all, for me. Okay. Appreciate it.